What's going on guys? We have another episode today in the Minnesota Vikings franchise and today we're going to be previewing the upcoming draft class for the season three in this series. So we'll look at each individual position and see all of the recruits that are coming out for the draft. I want to show this because guys don't always commit on Madden in the draft classes when they do in real life and sometimes they get projected in odd places where you will not really expect them because you'll see a lot of weird things here when I'm showing these. We're looking at quarterbacks right now. Not at all an issue for us, but Matt Barkley is projected in the seventh round, so you can see some of the weird things that happen. Now, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure that projected round zero means that they're projected to be undrafted. We're looking at the running backs now, and it's not something we have to worry about in this draft, really. But I also want to show you guys these classes, because you guys are probably fans of a lot of these guys' schools, and you want to know how they're going to be doing, and whether or not they're going to even be in this draft class. Because guys are asking about guys like Justin Blackman, and they haven't gone out yet. They're in th He's in this draft class, along with a guy like Matt Khalil. And basically, in NCAA, a lot more guys tend to stay for their senior year, even if they are top All-American players. But here is a position we really need to worry about, wide receiver. We have nobody projected to go in the first round, but we are drafting in the last pick of the first round anyways. And there you can see Justin Blackman projected to be a fifth round pick. And that's just some of the weird things that happen. You can't really do anything about it. But there's a lot of receivers to pick from. I've scouted, I think, every single one. Now looking at tight ends, we're set at that position. We have Kyle Rudolph and Vasante Shenko, but looks like there are some decent tight ends in this draft class. Looking at left tackles now, once again, another position we are good at with Nate Potter, the rookie. Had a great rookie season, and I plan on keeping him for a long time. But there you can see Matt Khalil. He's projected to be a seventh-round draft pick, so... I don't expect him to be very good in this series, but now left guard is an issue of concern for us. Only one guy is even projected in the top three rounds, and we have Steve Hutchinson who is aging, and he is regressing as a player overall with his ratings. Now right guard, that's something else we got to look at, along with center and right tackle. Really the only solid position we have on the line is Nate Potter at the moment. And so there are some good right tackles in this class. Might have to look at one of those guys in the first round. And now defensive ends, we're doing pretty good with Jared Allen and Brian Robeson. Had a Pro Bowl caliber season, but he did not end up making the Pro Bowl. And I'm happy overall at the front four with Christian Ballard and Kevin Williams having great seasons. Both went to the Pro Bowl. So our front four is pretty much set. I'm pretty happy with the depth we have, but linebacker is another story at the moment. We did have some guys that played well last year with Antoine Barnes and Donald Butler, but that linebacker position, that middle linebacker spot, we have been dealing with injuries this entire series so far with three different specific linebackers. E.J. Henderson got rid of him because he was too slow and injury prone, and then our rookie Garrick Williams last year got hurt a couple times along with Donald Butler a couple times, so we're still not sure about that position, but we do have some good linebackers in this draft. Dante Hightower is probably the most wanted prospect for me at this point. Outside linebacker, something else I'm looking at. Antoine Barnes did play pretty well. And apparently there's not very many good outside linebackers in this class at all. So it might not be something we can fix in the draft, but there's always free agency. Looking at cornerback, really impressed with the rookie Jamel Fleming. Antoine Winfield was exposed a lot last year. Another guy stepped up and played well, but I want to see if we can get another cornerback in here to go alongside Jamel Fleming. Our secondary is also very young, so we'll see how much their attributes start increasing because they played well last year, especially Alfonso Smith in the playoffs when he was Super Bowl MVP. Looking at safety, really safety's up for grabs at this point. I'm not really amazed with anybody's play so far. I think Tyrell Johnson has been playing the best, but that's only one safety spot. We have some good ones in this class. I really like Micah Hyde from Iowa, and that strong safety. I would really like Ray Ray Armstrong to follow us. He's projected to be a first-round pick, and there's a lot of other good safeties. So we'll see who falls to us. Looks like there's some good prospects that would really help out this team. I still think we have a lot of holes, but we happened to play well during the season and win close games, and that helped us make it to the playoffs and eventually win the Super Bowl. Not worried about kicker and punter. I plan on making sure that Ryan Longwell retires a Viking, and Chris Cluey, he's been amazing. You guys saw him last year. He did very well. Anyways, guys, this is the draft class we have upcoming for the 2013 season, season three in the Minnesota Vikings franchise series. I don't really look at these questionable overalls because they can be 
very inaccurate and so I worry about like pro days and stuff when you can unlock real attributes and see how guys are right away. Wide receiver is one of those positions I would really like to upgrade because having another weapon besides Percy Harvin and Adrian Peterson would be huge. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. We will start the off season in the next episode as we get closer to season 3 in that beginning. So guys, if you missed the Super Bowl against the Colts, click and check that out. It's got a really good response, one of the best responses I've seen in any video I've ever put out. And on the bottom we have the Pro Bowl, a lot of guys wanted to see it, and so I brought it and I plan on continuing to play them in seasons to come. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Now you'll know who is in this draft class and who we can expect to be good. But next up is one of the most anticipated episodes that I put out. Everybody loves the offseason, and so I'm going to get to work on that right away, and I will see you guys later.